Alright, that's how we're going to start the morning, man. We're going to practice for a brothers tournament tomorrow. And we're on Lake Okeechobee. See what we can come up with. Should be some biggins out, man. It's got a nice rain front. I'm going to go right at the mouth of Kouf Bay. See if we can catch a couple of fish. Got some boats out here, too. So some people out here, for sure. All right, y'all. So welcome to another, another episode of Mug City Angler, man. I'm your host, Jeffrey Willis, and I'm going to be with you guys for a short period of the day. Uh, so we're going to basically do some junk fishing, y'all. I haven't really been out here. The water level's been extremely, extremely low. We got the boat serviced and ready to roll. Uh, so I'm just going to be excited, man, just to get out and go to some familiar areas uh, where at least I think I'll be able to at least get around. Um, and troll around and stuff like that. So I'm excited about that kind of stuff. Uh, and then I don't know what these fish are gonna be biting on, guys. I have absolutely no clue. Again, this is one of those times where you wish you had one of those seasoned vet kind of guys to kind of, you know, show you around and 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 you know be able to demonstrate what's what's good and what's bad in reference to. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh, good morning. In reference to like what what's a good area to be in when these water levels are like this, man. If y'all can, I don't know if y'all can tell by the bank over here. That water has dropped significantly. Uh, that water has dropped significantly, man. So, again, you know, we want to pray safe travel for everybody. So, first and foremost, God, we just thank you for waking us up this morning, starting us on our way. We thank you for life, health, and strength. We thank you for the process, God. We thank you for the good, the bad, and everything that goes in between that uh, so that we can just continue to come out here and, and chase uh, the dreams that you've given us and, and chase the things that it comes with that dream so that we can continue to give those to others. And God, we're grateful for all the anglers that's out here today. We pray for safety, for not just for them, but for their families, God. And we pray that everybody just continue to stay safe and corona-free. In your name, amen. So, we're going to get to it, man. We're going to get through these closed and locks real quick. And then we're going uh, to get out of here. All right, I want to welcome y'all to another episode of Monk City Angler, man. I'm your host today, and I'm out here on this beautiful lake all by myself. So, we out here practicing, man, or I'm out here trying to get some practice in for uh, a buddy tournament that we got tomorrow morning. Um, really hadn't been out here in a while. The lake didn't drop tremendously at this point, uh, and I really don't even know, you know, where to start. So, you guys going to see me do a lot of junk fishing today, man. Ain't no telling what I may pick up today. So... It won't be an all single day, I can tell you that much, uh, just because, you know, you got to try out some new things in order to kind of figure out these fish, man. But I'm right over here in, in, in Uncle Joe's cut today, and uh, I'm going to try to run this whole grass pattern all the way out on the outside edges of this thing and uh, see what we can come up with, guys. So y'all stay tuned, and let's see if we can pull out a giant. Sometimes, man, these bass will get down in this grass in here, and they'll just kind of sit tight really tight to some of this cover in here. And when they're doing that, man, they're pretty cool to catch. This would be one that'll do, at least for right now. This would definitely be one that'll do, at least for right now. I know it's going to be a matter of time, man. I'm going to get into some. I'm going to get into some. Look, just like this.
All right, y'all. Got a couple fish. Uh, talked to my buddy Keith. Nobody really catching them, so you never know, man. One good fish, man, may be may be the deal maker, and sometimes you gotta be okay with that. Sometimes you gotta be okay with that. I think we're bringing back five fish. Uh, I make sure I clarify the rules on the actual tournament video, all the rules and stuff. Actually, I let them tell us as we're going out. Uh, but yeah, man, it was overall, I mean, I caught five fish, not necessarily the weight that I was looking for, but I definitely caught five fish. So I guess I gotta be okay with that. Uh, but yeah, it was good just to be back out on the lake again, man. It was cool. Uh, obviously it's really, really shallow, which is, I mean, I gotta idle all the way out to some deeper water because it's really shallow in here and I cannot, I cannot, cannot, cannot get up. Uh, so I'm going to be safe. Uh, I'm going to make sure I get out here in probably three feet of water to be sure. Uh, and then I just take my time. And then I'm going to get on in, man. Uh, try and create something special. Uh, from special Miss KD. I uh, got out here early part of the morning just to kind of get out and, and try to get a better understanding. Because we fished today. We fished yesterday and we didn't do well. But I did a lot better today, which means I could do even better tomorrow. Which is still cool, but it's her birthday weekend, man. And uh, fortunate, I'm, I'm, I'm fortunate enough for her to let me come out here early in the morning, and get try and get out the water semi early, so that we can continue the festivities for her birthday. This, it is a big deal, y'all. Uh, and yeah, should be fun. We're gonna get out of here as soon as we get in some deeper water, and then uh, we'll see you guys back at the ramp. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna put these fish back in the water, man, just cause I don't wanna kill them. So, our first one here. Our first one here. All right, we're gonna put him back. He's gone. And then we got one more in here. Got one more in here, I'll let him go as well. All right, next you guys will see the boat on the truck. Not a safe trip, y'all. Not a safe trip, God, I thank you. Big girl back there running good. That's it. Thank you for tuning in again just for another episode, man, Among City Angler. I hope you guys learned something today. I uh, hope you guys learned something today, even if it's just, you know, a style of how somebody do something. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Guys, this is real life, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all and tell y'all that I'm gonna come out here and catch fish, big fish every time I come out here. Or you're gonna see a video full of donkeys. Like, that's just not me, man. What I can only promise is that we're gonna go fishing and whatever that day, whatever that venture leads us, man, is, is what's gonna be the results of that day. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's not appealing to, to go out there and make it seem like you're just catching big fish all the time. That ain't reality and that ain't true. Uh, there's an art in putting in the effort and the hard work and the preparation So when you do be able to put a big bag like that together, it's always a good thing But there's a lot of hard work and preparation that goes into that and only those people that does those things uh, Be able to consistently catch fish like that on anybody of water so Again, my whole goal is just to continue to, to create the conversation and learn and Hopefully I can be blessed one day uh that my efforts will be blessed so yeah again man thank y'all for watching don't forget to like and subscribe don't forget to uh how that you boy on instagram uh twitter all that great stuff man facebook all that good stuff man uh if you ever in the area you want to get out
make sure you follow me and uh, send me a message. Maybe we can put something together after the quarantine. Hey, man, I want to say, too, man, for those of you guys uh, that are keeping safe uh, and those that are not necessarily taking the proper precautions, man, understand something. Like, this corona thing is is, is a very, very big deal. Um, I know initially, man, I was one of the ones that was kind of suspecting whether or not I understood uh, how important it was and what was, what was the potential damage that it could possibly do to somebody. Uh, so I want to say, man, young and old, man, to make sure, guys, you're taking care of yourself. Uh, make sure that you're going, you're interacting as minimum as possible. Uh, make sure that you're washing your hands and, and, and taking the, taking the, and wearing the proper PPE uh, to to just continue to not only just take care of yourself but take care take care of those around you. Uh, I think that's a really big deal, man. So I definitely want to encourage that. Uh, even us fishermen out here, even though we're definitely six feet apart. Um, and yeah, it is kind of cool for us to get out and, you know, do some fishing and stuff like that because it's still social distancing um, in a sense. Uh, but even us, man, we have to make sure that we're sanitizing ourselves and, and, and not allowing us to take any type of uh, issues back to our family. So uh, I want to de definitely pray for those that has been touched by it. Um, I, I pray God continue to just, you know, move in y'all way in a, in a special way, man. But. Most importantly, man, let's let's just continue to to to, to do as our city mayors and uh, has has suggested us to doing and making sure that we're out less and making sure we're around as many people as, as possible. So I want to make sure I added that in here, man. So yeah, MCA stamped and approved, y'all. <laughs>